Oh no, but let's fine. do some stuff anyway. Um, so we were looking at the welding ship here, uh, which we just rescued. Um, it grinding a ship. Bad. Grinding ship. Based on the welding ship design. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I was in it when uh, we started having problems the other day, and um, it somewhat kind of safely crash landed. Basically, just one damage landing gear. But it was on its side, so uh, we had to bring the fighter over to help it up. And a little uh, ace piloting by myself, I would, I would, you know, have to say. Yes, he did very well uh, flipping it back over onto the right way up. It did not want to turn. Just looking at the new particle effects here. Uh, got some black smoke coming off the landing gear, which is very cool. We've noticed quite a big difference in uh, performance, mainly I think because we've removed all our mods uh, and because I believe some of them weren't properly compatible with the new version of Space Engineers. And, you know, it's just good to test without mods occasionally to see um, you know, what the base game should run like. And after seeing this, I'm uh, I'm all for playing base game. I mean, I love modding, but if it causes that much problems, then probably best to stay away from it. Yeah, I'm hoping that we just need to wait for some updates to some of those mods, and then we might be able to start using them again. I really do like the energy shields, and uh, the nanites certainly save us a lot of building time. Oh yeah, absolutely. Especially considering most of the time we uh, we spend building and you know mining anyways, bump shields help a lot, <laughs> and then the the grinding and welding you know takes up a lot of time on the streams if we're just doing that all the time. Anyway, uh, I've just been pulling all the wheels off the mole rat uh, because we've had a couple of disasters where we've tried to detach and uh, turn it into a dynamic object and as soon as it's under its own power for some reason the uh, inertial dampers aren't working and it has fallen to the ground uh, which is a really disastrous in such a large vehicle and where it's positioned in the base. So we, we think it may be that um, the game is misinterpreting the wheels as being the method of propulsion for the vehicle instead of just being bumpers. I probably shouldn't have used actual suspension. Uh, but anyway, where I'm just removing them now so that um, there's no doubt in the Space Engineer's mind that it is the thrusters that are supposed to be propelling it. If anything, we could. Um add rotors and wheels to it later on to allow it to roll properly underground after it's uh, flying around a bit. Yeah, I don't think it's a problem to add them after, it's just for some reason doing it like this uh, as a new object, it's just not um, interpreting it correctly. But then, it, you know, it's, it's my own weird design that the game probably wasn't expecting, so... So I might go do that. What are you up to, Dar? Um, I think I'm going to work on a dedicated uh, grinding and welding ship for us. One that can handle a decent amount of uh, stuff inside of it. The uh, After the little finagling with the grinder, I'm, uh, I'm all for that. I'm dead set on that now. Fair enough. Um... So is it going to be a double-headed ship, two cockpits, one facing each way, with the grinder um, you know, and the welder on each end? Or um, are you going to do one with both facing forward? Um, I'm probably going to do one with both facing forward. Um, I did have an old design. I don't know if it... Uh if I have it anymore, after um, hard drive failures, uh, the grinding section was on the left, and then the welding section was on the right, and it was connected up into a large conveyor through two medium conveyor containers. Sorry, not conveyors. 
Sounds good. But, uh, yeah. Alright, well I might go get started on that. And, uh, I'm desperate to see this thing uh, getting some mining done so we can get some more uranium. And various other things. Yeah, that was pretty fun, though, when that last crash happened. It sounds like World War II on my headphones. Yeah, though the physics worked really well. Um, it didn't lag out like it usually does for me when something like that happens. Uh, it all seemed to happen in the fraction of an instant that it would have occurred uh, in real time. So that was really impressive for me. Yeah, I was completely frozen solid. All I heard was the explosions. It's a good idea to pick up all this uh, junk that's dropping the components, otherwise they tend to rattle around a bit when you're flying and get very hard to find. That and we don't have Bob to take them out for us anymore. So. Yeah, we had the build and repair system uh, cleaning up after us before. Yeah, Bob made a pretty good mate, I think. Yeah, I'm completely removing the wheels and also the suspension, just so there's no doubt. Can't possibly think that we want to use the wheels, since there will be no wheels. Watch out below, we just created a random block. 
God knows where that ended up. Yeah, considering you're almost directly above where I'm building. <laughs> yeah, uh, I didn't hit you, did I? No, no. Not like I could have moved anyway, so I'm too busy stuffing my face with pizza. Could do. We could um, use the little grinding ship to take that stuff down for you. It'd be easier yeah. than just uh, having to fly back and forth. I might do that in a second. I am, well, however, I'm kind gonna of. It's the, only a few uh, blocks, so ship. I wasn't going to worry too much. I can carry most of what I need here. I'm just replacing. Uh, I've replaced all the top wheel stuff now with just single blocks. I've just got to do the lower one, so I'm almost done, kind of.
So how's the performance for you? How are you finding the you know lag? Um, I haven't really had any lag other than um, every now and then, I guess, when you're grinding something with uh, the sparks and stuff like that. The uh, I wouldn't say it slows down, but I can notice. If that makes Probably sense. Probably updating the grid because I've changed it. That could be what it is. I guess. should also ask how your computer is after I did yesterday. Has it uh, hasn't reverted to um, slowing down or anything? I um I haven't been able to finish uh, defragging it after letting it run all day while I was at work for yeah I think ten and a half hours. It pulled about twenty seven gigabytes of old data, like an old Windows install, you know, which it, I think it when it brought in one of the major updates recently, it kind of almost reads, made it a new version of Windows and kept like a backup copy of the old one and that's one of the things we removed which probably was right in the middle of all your data. So now defragging, you know it's going to take ages probably. Actually, um, it wasn't that, it was the fact that uh, I had a newer version and I had to actually go back to an older one because it broke my computer. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm I'm running pre uh, creator update. Oh, okay. But yeah, um other than I it's going to take like a year to defrag. I have to uh convert the other disk drive to uncompressed. Okay, and, so Space uh, Engineers is on a compressed drive still. Yeah, but I, I've always had it that way and it's never yeah. been an issue. Okay. Um, you know, if the files are in use all the time, it shouldn't be because it doesn't compress them then. But, you know, files there, it's just what it thinks is a something you haven't used for a while can be, you know, not a very long time. Well, compu computers are, uh, you know, milliseconds of usage time. So, uh, it could think that, oh, you haven't used that in a few seconds, so it's been a long time. You never know. Yeah, I don't think it's quite that bad, but like a week or something, it can think that that's, you know, you're not using it. And I don't know, I, I have games that I don't play for weeks at a time, but I still want to come back to them. I don't want to find that they've all been compressed. I don't know. I don't know what the actual time scale is for it deciding that something's not been in use. Probably Google it. Nah, it's not really that important now. You know what I mean? Well, somebody, it may be important to know, but for me, it's. I, kind of a meh yeah but it really says you know if you if you're worried about cpu and um you know uh maximizing your cpu you probably don't want to have a compressed drive like running and having to use the cpu all the time in the background yeah you're probably right <laughs>
just thinking about what to do about the bolo, the big tank. Whether I should drive it back here for dismantling or just drive it back here to park. I don't like our chances of lifting something that massive and putting it on another planet, but I guess it's possible. It is possible, but um, good luck. That thing, that thing hates me. Just being around it murders me. I'm not even joking. You never know, it might work better now. You know, that we're uh, not using mods. Uh, I, I don't like it, it don't like me. I think we have a new understanding. Sorry, mate. I missed what I you was said. saying, uh, it doesn't like me, I don't like it, we have a mutual understanding. Fair enough, but we, uh, we probably should dismantle it then to get the resources back. If we're not going to use it. I didn't hear what you said, buddy. I, have uh, random death. Oh, no worries. I was just Again. going to say, um, oh, that's no good. I was just going to say I should dismantle it then. You know, if we're not going to use it, we should get the resources back. Yeah, that's uh, that's fine with me. It's up to you, though. It's your tank. Your game. Oh, no, I got the blueprint. You know. So it's not a big deal. It might be fun to take it to the spider planet. We could roll over them. Though they're a bit like the wolves, they get a bit wearing after a while. Yeah, um, I'm all for going to the uh, alien planet, but I hate spi I hate the spiders. I just. I'm not like afraid of them or nothing, I just dislike them. Fair They're enough. Annoying. We can use AI, uh, we can use corruption or whatever. Even that uh, ground installation thing. I know I've said this oh, before, uh, but uh, it's time to test this thing. Uh, save, please save. I have saved. I'm really getting tired of this random death crap. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, is it, you know, are, are you flying around in your jetpack? I mean, is it because it's um, desyncing and then thinking you're going much faster than you already, than you really are? Or? I don't know. I, I've given up trying to figure it out. Alright, we are officially a ship. I 
did hear the sound of thrusters kicking in so now the real test is going to be what happens when I detach those landing gear. This has been the breakpoint previously. I'm going to back away. Probably wise after last time. Okay, I'm in the crater. Just testing. I'm in the mining crater. Oh my god, no crash! Yay! I didn't hear loud explosions. I'm even off oh. the ground. It's up. I'm so proud. I'm up. Now here's the question. Can you turn? So is it supposed to be used like that? Yeah, basically like this. You go find a bit... Um, I'll do it right now. In fact, uh, I'll find a bit of uh, ore and I'm just going to drill straight down into it. Let me see uh, what we need and then uh, we can both go. I'll take the uh, the small sure. miner. I should get rid of the um, landing gear on the bottom though. Yeah, you do that while I figure out what we need. So gold and platinum seem to be the lowest, but I'm going to double check everything else. So we uh we have about 60 gold just over 600 uh platinum and just under uh I'd say under 5k of magnesium powder but we can go through that really quick what do you think Yeah probably magnesium first then it's the one we most commonly use for weapons and things. Uh I don't know that and uh Uranium and gold are always a, a must. Well, I could do the magnesium and uranium that's right next to the base. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, I can go over and open up the um, gold area for you? Yeah, if you like. Have you got that on your GPS? Um, I think so. I have one... Uh, AG and AU at 1.18 kilometers. Yeah, that'd be it. I'll let you take off. I'm a bit I slow still can't. Maneuver. I'm uh, I'm still not used to this reaction on this thing. It's insane. Oh, and um. Don't forget your sorters on, I think it's uh, shortcut 7. If they're on, they'll start dropping uh, any rock out, and that can be a bit of a bit of a problem if you're in a tight space. It sort of makes your rock from side to side. So I usually have it switched off and then back out of the hole and start dropping the rock when I'm not in the hole. Unless you've got plenty of room, and then it doesn't matter. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm going to just leave everything off until I'm ready. I yeah, think I'm just going to open up the area for you. K, so. Okay.
We need a camera on the front of this thing. Yeah, it's just hard to find a one. Uh, you can stick one on the side, but there's nowhere on the front to put one as such. You could actually take out that center um, mining drill and probably use that area. Since it's got one on each side, it should take out that area evenly. Well, you could try it. Well, I don't want to mess up your design, so I'll leave that decision up to you, boss. I guess I'm just kind of used to it. I, um, I've always, you know, I haven't had any trouble applying it like that. You've just got to get the angle right so that you're not sort of cutting yourself off and, and looking inside the cockpit. I like how this area where the silver and gold is has kind of been strip mined and I'm yeah. actually making it a strip mine by expanding it out. Well, I'm just about to break dirt on the first drill. I'm going to use full drilling mode to start with, I think. working really well. I'm very happy. Yeah, I'm getting some uh, sim speed drop. But I think that's because we're both mining. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm trying to go quite slowly because uh, I know with this it can be easy to smash the drills if you go a little bit too far. Especially since we don't have the shields at the moment. Oh, my rock dumpers are already running. Wonderful. That would explain the lag. I'll stop them for now if you like. It's just I was getting a bit overloaded. I might actually have to. Oh no, I was just joking with you. I was just messing with you. Fair enough. I don't want to make life unpleasant for you. You know, by lagging things up. If you really want to make life unpleasant for me, just tell me I can't join you anymore in the streams. No, I would do that, man. <laughs> no, I've gotten so used to being like, oh, go to work. Come home, relax for a couple hours, then hurry up and join you for the streams, and then go to bed. That even wifey has stopped complaining about me doing it for two or three hours a day. <laughs> as long as you're enjoying yourself, man, you're, you're always, well, you know, that's what it's about. And, you know, unfortunately because of the, the technical problems, we haven't been able to stream, but we can still make our recordings at least for now. 
hope we can go back to streaming. Yeah. If if anything, if we could have one mod, what would it be for you? Oh, probably the energy shields, but that's probably one of the worst ones for lag, unfortunately. Yeah, I was about to say the same one. I'm the bump master when it comes to mining. <laughs> I tried to make the design for that one sturdy, so even if you do bump around a bit, you should, you know, it shouldn't cause you too much problem. So, do you want to do this area like a full-on strip mine, like have it layered in circles going up, or do you, do we just want to get the ore and well, just say screw it? have a look at what this one is doing I mean we can just go directly for chunks of ore that we need we don't need to really dig down in tunnels anymore um, we just basically need to you know unless we're just grabbing a small amount the problem with this thing is that it oh, uses just... huge amounts of uranium you know just staying upright we can put some solar panels on that that would and, be uh, a really good idea that should actually. help charge up the battery Considering it's about to be day. No, I was thinking uh, that we use this one to make like a uh, like clear out the surface area that we want to work in with that, so that we're almost right on top of the rock or the ore. Or if it's really deep down and you don't want to put the whole thing in there just in case, you know. We can yeah, clear sure. out a little bit of an area with this one. I just managed to get 1,600 uh, kilograms. Was it? 1,600,000 000 kilograms of uh, magnesium in just that time. And a whole bunch of rock as well. Which I'm nice. Up. So that's really good. I think I've gone right through the vein here, and uh, you know, right through to its. I think they're kind of in layers, like a layer cake, and I think I've gone right through the layer. Yeah, we got lucky with all that good stuff right there by the bed. Oh, it's one of the reasons I chose that spot because I thought, oh, I've got uranium right there and magnesium too. So I think I'm gonna set up a um, a gyroscope thing for the uh, the cockpit so that I can turn off some of the gyroscopes when the ship isn't full. Sure. Good God, man! How many do you have on here? Oh, it, see, it's an old design when gyroscopes didn't used to work as well. So it's got a, probably a lot more than you need, but it still has to have some extra for when it's full. 37, though? 37 gyros? Well, I didn't know there were that many. 37 is kind of excessive. You might want to take about half of those off at least. This one doesn't have so many. It's only got about, oh, yeah, maybe eight. Have to check. Yeah, I'm currently dumping the 8,000 tons of rock, or 8,000 yeah, 8, tons of rock I picked up.
getting there with 12 connectors dumping it uh, dumps out pretty quick. Okay, so what I did is I set up a command for all the gyros, and I set up a command for gyros half, and I set the gyros half to toggle on off, and the gyros one to toggle them all on. Sure. Whatever it makes it easier for you to apply it. There we go, dumped all the rock. I should probably unload what I've got and come over and join you. Sure. We may have to start a new company a company after this. Oh yes. And Hex Darth Mining Company. Or Darth in Hex Mining Company. Hey, I like the sound of that one. Although I'm not, I'm not so sure about putting my name first on that. That usually means I'm the, uh, I'm the one that takes the fall for this when the company goes under. That's good to me. <laughs> oh, um, speaking of mining, did you see that deep ores mod? that uh, was on the Steam Workshop a while back? No. That might be something interesting to do for a series. The uh, the more rare the resource is, the uh, deeper into the planet you have to mine, or the uh, asteroids and whatnot. Interesting. Well, there was a big flash of light, but I appear to be ready to connect. Very nice. I've wiped down this area a lot. I'm going to keep working on that until you get over here. You should add some solar panels while you're over there. The sun is starting to come up. Okay.
Hey, uh, I gotta go do the birthday ceremony. I'll be back in a minute. No worries, mate. No hurry. I'll still be here when you get back. Take your time. Spend your time in Japan. I'm gonna leave the ship, uh, parked for the, uh, right next to the hole for you so you can see where it is. I don't know if you have it marked. Thanks, mate. I'll be AFK, though. Be back. I could add a lot more here. I think I'll just uh, stick with that to start with. I've still got to actually build them with the welding ship.
That should be enough, I think. Just sure. I finish it by hand. I'm back. Welcome back. So did I miss anything? No, no, I just added some solar cells. Uh, pretty boring, really. Um, just uh, just finished, actually. I didn't add very many. I added, um, let me see, four on each side plus another two on each side. So that's uh, 12, I think. Nice. I've got to add about 12 solar cells to one of them and it'll be finished and I'll come over in the gym. Oh, well, I better hurry. Oops, I found a couple more I added. So it's going to be a little bit more? Oh no, I'll finish them another time. I, there's just a couple of extras I added at the bottom. It'll be fine. I'll uh, finish them up later. I'll bring the ship over now. Probably should seriously consider picking up some uranium when I'm mining as well today. Are we that low? No, no, but if I run this very much, I am going to need extra. I love how Flight of the Valkyries is playing on my playlist as you're approaching in that big mining ship. <laughs> that would be good. So I should just land on top of you, is that alright? I mean, I'm in your ship, so that's up to you. No, it's cool, but if you wanted to mark but, off uh, uh, where you think I should drill down uh, with a GPS, maybe.
There's some magnesium here too. Cobalt. That should be about right. Cool, I'm on it. You might want to get out of the way. I am. I'm gonna wait and see how uh, how much room you take up, and I might work on clearing out some more of the other areas. How's that? Um, is that fairly much over the mark? Uh, new. You didn't copy the GPS? No, I did. I'm just uh, having trouble because of the angles. I'll, I'll fix it up. Don't worry. Um. Oh yeah, I'm way off. I can't. I can't tell which is your left and right, so um, it's kind of hard for me to tell. My you back which is way facing to towards home base, kind of. But it's okay. I'm okay, okay so go forward. I'll keep the uh, the lights on it. How about that? Does that help? Oh, I've got the GPS. How's that? Um, level yourself out. Other than that, you look good. I think your forwards and backwards is off a little bit. Or it's me, hold on. Yeah, no, it was me. You're good. Right there. Alright, trying to engage the drills. Now you have some ice. That's on cool, top. we I was always trying need to clear ice. it out a little bit for you. Yeah. I'm trying to keep this lit up for you so you can see. It's all good. Um, the uh, night isn't quite as dark as it was when we had that fog run. You got about five meters until you hit the gold. getting a bit off balance yeah it's because half your uh, your drills are kind of sticking out over the ledge that's down there but you got about uh, three to four meters before you hit the uh, the gold two meters one meter all right, you should be getting gold. I think that should be deep enough, buddy. No worries, I'll pull back what do you out. Think? 
I'll see how much I've grabbed. About 50k of uh, gold ore. Rest is, uh, I got about 1800k of ice. Nice. But you know, we can always use ice. I'll just take off and dump some of this. I could just as easily uh, um, get it to dump the ice as well for now, but uh, I think... What do you think? It means I wouldn't have to go back to base start mode. Um, I like the idea of getting rid of the ice and we can use this one to collect ice. Because it, you know, okay. we don't really need that much, just enough to keep, you know, our suits and tug filled. Honestly, I don't think we use that much of it. No worries, I'll just be fiddling for a second then in the console to change the sort of settings. Okay, could you, um, could you move out of here so I can mine? It's kind of raining stones everywhere. Just, uh, pull off to one side. Far enough? Yeah, that should be good. I just want to set up the area for your next path. I might have to have you move a little bit back. I'm still getting some that are falling down in here. I'm sorry, mate. I missed that. Could you um, back off just a tiny bit more? I'm still getting some that fall in here on me. More than enough. More than enough. Thank you, sir. There we go, dumping stone and ice now. I think some of them may be off, I better double check. Huh, there's uranium over here. Nice. I see that. Oh, it looks like I'm empty. Yep, ready for another dig. Alright, I'm almost done. Alright, I'm almost done clearing out your uh, your next area. You can uh, hover on over if you want. So the area forward of where I just did. Um, the area that's directly below me, yeah. Yep. However, I do need to check down there. 
and make sure that it's lined up properly because I don't want you to just because it's uh there's a tunnel down there I don't want it, you to just miss it you know yeah no worries definitely put a lot more solar cells on than I already have. I probably should put as many on as I can. Maybe keep them to the top half. Alright, I'm going to set up some new cords. Thank you, sir. Not a problem. Yeah, I think this actually works out pretty good. I can uh, line things up and clear things out for you. Not that we really need to, but, um, well, clear things out. But it does help having a smaller ship to be able to see where the stuff is, you know? Absolutely. What do you think about there? Uh, bring it closer so I can get a better look. Or uh, down. Bring it more towards me. Keep coming. I'll tell you when to stop. There. That works perfect. Alright, I'll start going down. Hold on, let me check the other alignments. Alright, come uh, this way. Keep going. A little bit more. A little bit more. Alright, you good there. Should be good. I'll do one more check. We are lined up and ready to go, sir. Alright, starting down. I can't see anything. I got stuck in the wall. <laughs> oh, that's not good. 
Yeah, the uh, the camera uh, when it switches when you uh, when you get too close to a wall, and then you can't see where anything is because you're stuck in the cockpit. Yeah, I know what you mean. All right, you're starting to break through to where the rocket at uh, the uh, gold is. to be sticking a little bit I might go up a bit okay you actually moved from where you were so um like you have a wall I get knocked around on by the side the rocks, I, had, I, had... I might just rise up and come back down again yeah it's a lot of falling junk yeah. If you'll come back towards me a little bit. I'll let you, uh... Alright. If you'll bring it down a little bit. Right towards me just a little bit more. All right, you should be good. Yeah, that's perfect. Nice and slow. Two meters. One meter. You're on the gold. Words to make any miner happy. What's that? You're on the gold. Uh, Alright, you should be to go, uh, good to go up. Beautiful. We got right through the vein. Right in the middle. Yeah, we're up to 176k of uh, gold ore. Maybe oh we wow, should go that for, was a big jump. Go for some silver as well, what do you think? Yeah, sure. I'll, uh, I'll find a good spot. I wasn't, I'm not 100% sure what our silver stocks were like, they may not be that bad. I think it was about, um, 7 or 8k, maybe more. I'll, I'll double check really quick, I'll connect to base. Seventeen plus k. Yeah, we should be right then. So, what do you think? More gold, or should we do some uranium? I think uranium is our next priority. Over near the base, or out here instead? I think it'd be easier over by the base. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a lot of it's dug out already, so we can just we can see where it is really. Alright, well I'll head over to the base and unload the ore I have. And I'll start mining out for the Yuri. Huh. 
Oh, I got some damage. I'm trailing smoke. Falling rocks. Man, and the ice just looks so destroyed from all the meteors. Sure does. That was close. I've seen that. What's that? You almost hit the base. No, I didn't. I was very slow and careful. You almost ran into that connector. Oh, I didn't even notice. I've seen it. You just, uh, you just. Oh, I was it supposed too. to. Um, I was trying to actually line up, but then I realized there's no connector on that side, so I had to rotate. It's all good. I'm just making your life hard. Er. Oh, I got some thrusters damage too. That's interesting. Oh man, this one's almost completely gone. Oh, no shields. It's not good. Yeah, we almost had another rescue operation. Yep, it's time for the welding ship. It should still be loaded with a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I just loaded it up here a little bit ago. Oh, the poor tug. Are you emptying stuff from the base? Um, yeah, I just dropped uh, the gold into the main storage. No, I meant, were you dropping ice and stuff from the base? Uh, I didn't think so, but maybe I was closer than I realized and I started dropping it on the tug, did I? Yeah. Oh yeah, there seem to be a few little dents here and there. Oh, hang on, I might still be pulling um, stuff so, out. Uh, where is the uh, welder ship? Because it's not where I left it. Um, it's parked on the end closest to the hill. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, it's not too bad. She'll still fly. But, uh, the drill ship itself took some damage, I noticed. Nothing serious, just, uh, structural stuff I can fix pretty easily.
Did you see the damage to the mining ship? To yours? Yeah, to the big one. Just up this corner, mostly. Oh, wow. You oh, got a whole a section missing there. on this side. Go ahead and lay it down and I'll weld it yeah. up. And there's some damage over on this side too, I'll need to place some blocks. Can you still reach that back block there or? That's why I like to make the welding ships small so they can fit in the nooks and crannies. Yeah, the uh, the design that I had had a uh, piston on the uh, welding system. Oh, that's a good idea. So one of the... The middle welder would kind of push out, same with the grinder. I don't think we lost any internal stuff, so I'm just going to seal that up. Oh, we still got a really thick, if anything. Uh, thick vein of magnesium here. If anything, you could always replace the blocks that are going to get damaged all the time with heavy armor. I was thinking that. Just have to keep an eye on it and see which ones are always getting damaged. Wouldn't surprise me if those ones around the lower areas are going to take a lot of damage. I probably should already make them, at least at the corners, heavy armor. Them pillars should probably be heavy armor because I think those, those corners, just the... Um, that section is going to be the area that takes most of the damage. I think you're right. Alright, we got a nice chunk of uranium still just over here, I think. That's um, kind of next to the vein, uh, so I'm, I'm going to sort of aim for this. Do you think it's a good idea? Actually, there's some on this side too. Taking away my job, huh? No, no. Please come down and, and survey. Uh, you can give me so a go. This is how we get rid of uh, no. low-income workers, huh? No, 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 no. I still need you. Um, I just, uh, I was just coming to have a look because I know this has been dug out underneath a bit. Like a, the top hole doesn't really reflect how far out it's dug. Oh, I was just messing with you. Did you hear what I said? Yeah.
so I should get going and do it get this uranium and then uh, that'll be enough mining for today I think I'll still need your guidance though you can help me line up on the bits that haven't been dug Yeah, I'm just uh, finishing fixing up the uh, the small miner. Wow, has the connector's strength been turned up to something ridiculous? Because I can't break away. I don't know. Very strange. I'll just uh, switch it off. Maybe it's still locked. That was weird. Better? Yeah, it was really weird. I, it's like uh, full engines, I couldn't break away. tree just where I don't need it I assume the drills can get through them but I could be wrong Okay, that should do it for me. I should be all repaired now. Good work. Although I'm still smoking somehow. Do you want me to remove that tree? If you don't mind. Whoa, game, calm down. Sorry, mate. Oh, you got it. Cool. Uh, nothing. The uh, the game. Yeah, the game was uh, going bonkers for a second there. Oh, I'm down a reactor. I didn't even realize that. I could be. Yeah, I'm on TV. Um, so am I good to go down here, or should I wait for you? I'll be right back. No worries, mate, I'll wait.
I'm glad we finally got this working. A lot of effort if it hadn't worked. That moment when you realize that you grab thruster component instead of reactor components. Oh well. Happens to the best of us. Well, I gotta make some more reactor components. Man, there's some clang going on. I wonder why. I mean, I'm not actually doing anything just sort of floating. I may have bits and pieces dropping off, um, but Whoa. I don't think so. I I just got a huge lag hit. Like the game uh, popped up unresponsive for a second there. That's strange. Uh, nothing like that's happened to me. Maybe a submarine hit the cable between you. <laughs> Here and there. Actually, it's all ran by a satellite. Oh, okay. The uh, the cable is for telecommunications, like uh, cell phones and stuff. The uh, internet is usually done via satellite. Oh, I didn't know that. I may be wrong. They may have changed it, but I do believe that's what it was. Yeah, the clang is specifically coming from your direction. Very strange. I may have some parts rattling around inside or something. That might be it. Okay, well, Chip, why are you not working? Is powered off with Y, like I accidentally just did with the big ship. Oh, that was close. Let's try this again. It 
So I had to manually put the parts into the um, the welder to get it to work. Well, that's weird because it was working for you before. Try changing the ownership over to you if you can. Sorry mate, I'm not getting any sound from you. Oh, sorry, I uh, I was hitting the inventory button and I must have hit the, uh, the no worries. broadcast thing. Okay, I should be good now. Alright, if you want to line up directly above to, uh, above me, I think, you should be good. The board cube of drills is above me. Man, the thing, stupid thrusters, man, every time. Still smoking. Yeah, you should be good once I move out of the way. Maybe I've put one in the wrong place and it's being hit by another thruster so that it's damaging it. That is possible. That reactor's out again and I haven't even hit anything. Same. All the stuff on the right side and the middle left that I just repaired is broken again. That doesn't make any sense. That's bizarre. That's interesting. Uh, some damage here has come back too. 
you know, all the stuff we just repaired on the left corner, it's suddenly damaged again as well. Yeah. Huh. Maybe a bug with the new update? Seems like it. We'll have to try uh, repairing again after, and then when we save the game, hopefully that'll fix it. Or maybe we could uh, save the game, repair, then save it again, just to be sure. Yeah, sure. You're looking good on mine. Just go nice and slow. I've got the dumpers off this time so that it's not interfering with the hole. Yeah, um, I have no control. I can't even get it out of my cockpit. I don't know what to do, man. Do you want to try uh, re-logging? And I'll just hold still where I am? You're kind of wedged um, sideways. I think, have you got the uh, landing gear switched to auto-lock? Because you may have locked against the wall. Can you hear me? Oh, okay. So he's coming, he's going to lock back in. Maybe a sh No, I won't try and rescue it because it might cause him a problem. Looks like we're having some more bugs today. Not as bad, but uh, still some odd things going on. I might end the recording here today and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow.